Hello guys and welcome back, it's Jack here doing a tutorial on Armour 3 Alpha on the editor on how to use the camera mode in it. It's really simple, I've seen a few videos but I didn't think that was detailed enough. But I'm going to show you um, a detailed version of talking for it from start to end and you should find it really easy to do and really helpful to make those intros or just a video and how to mess around until the full game comes out if you want to have a little bit of a break from killing people or playing the game. So you want to make sure that your um and your recording software's up, like Fraps or DX Story or something like that, and then you want to load up Armor 3 and you'll come to the screen like this. You then want to click on the editor and you want to make sure that it's clicked on Stratus and click continue. It may take some time for it to load up, but it's quicker for me at the moment because I've really loaded it up before and it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so once it is loaded up, you want, you'll you come to a screen like this and you can use the mouse wheel to, to zoom in and out of it and I'm going to find the airfield where I'm going to find it more easy and more open to show you the camera mode and you want to right mouse click and hold to drag around the map to where you want to go. So I want to go to the airfield which is here and once I'm here I'm going to click the textures at the top here or you can press control T as a shortcut. Now you can also choose the editor layout which will take you back to the traditional which I won't be using in this tutorial or you can use the streamlined version which is the newer version of it and I really do like the look of it it looks really smart. Okay so once you're here you want to make sure that the set editing mode is clicked on and then to click your camera you want to double click and you'll come up with this screen here is where you set a unit now the thing you got to think about is where this person is going to be is going to show in the camera but so if you want to do a scene then you might want to place him a bit out of the way where you can't see him and then move the camera towards where you're going to capture so once you come to this bit here you want to go to initialization there'll be a code below that you can copy and I want you to paste it in the initialization which will say this exact camera.sqs and this is what you gotta do it's that simple just copy and paste in here and that's it really once you've done that you want to click OK and then you have done that and then click preview at the top of the screen once that it will load up the, um, the file where you can preview the camera and that's it for now we'll wait for it to load up also while that's loading if you'd like to see any other content any other tutorials please let me know and I will do them also if you did like this tutorial I would like to know um, how I can improve them as I want to try and make it as easy as possible for all the newcomers to armor as I know there will be plenty of them around so once you're in you're thinking whoa this looks really cool well, that's that person that we placed down as the camera that's why I said you might want to place him somewhere out of the way okay now to move around you want to move the mouse you can move the mouse around to move it or you can use W for forward S for back A for left or D for right you can hold down the shift and press them to move it faster okay so it's that simple to move it around okay and now you're thinking how do I pan the camera up and down well you, all you gotta do is press 8 on the numpad to go up 2 on the numpad to go down 4 on the numpad to go left and 6 on the numpad to go right it is that simple to do okay so once that's done you're thinking mm, why is there a crosshair there well it's simple to get rid of that just press L and the crosshair will go and press L again for it to come back it is that simple this camera will be very fun to use you can make a bunch of imp um, a bunch of intros or even you can do screenshots which will look really smart and it's a really good feature and really easy to do if you did enjoy this tutorial please let me know below please comment please like it and also subscribe for plenty more and thank you for the support guys i know i keep saying it but i really do appreciate it and thanks again